Hey, this is Lewis from SoFly. In this video, I'll show you the properties inside the advanced size and spacing section. So to show these, I will add a heading for demo purposes. And then to edit the properties, go to advanced, size and spacing. First, we have uh, padding. Padding is space inside of an element's border, around the element. So here we have 50 pixels of padding. Here we have 100 on the top, 100 everywhere. Here we have no padding. Margin is space on the outside of an element. So here we're setting 100 pixels of margin. Here's 100 pixels of margin on all sides. Here is the margin removed. Uh, so margin and padding are generally used to space elements apart from other elements. Uh, next up, we have width and height. So I'll start by setting the width. Let me add some more text to uh, show you something important about setting width. Let's say you have a heading here and you don't want it to be this wide. You can set the width to make it narrower, for example, 800 pixels. However, this is a bad idea because if we preview the device at less than 800 pixels, for example, on a phone, the heading is 800 pixels wide, it's bigger than the phone screen, it results in all this white space on the side of your page, that's not what you want. That's why we have minimum width and maximum width. Minimum width is the minimum width the heading will ever be, and maximum width is the maximum width it will ever be. So one thing you can do is set the maximum width of the heading to 800 pixels. Now it will never be wider than 800 pixels. So on wide screens, it's 800 pixels wide, and on narrow screens, it is narrower. Another way you can achieve the same result is setting width to 800 pixels and maximum width to 100%. That will result in the maximum width never being more than 100% of the available width. The same rules apply to height. You have height, minimum height, and maximum height. One other uh, important thing to note is that instead of just setting properties in pixels, you can click to choose percentage, M, auto, VW, and VH. I'm only gonna talk about VH here. Let's make this section exactly the height of the browser. To do that, we'll use VH, which stands for viewport height. One VH is 1% 1 of the viewport height. We're gonna make the minimum width 100% of the viewport height. So let me set a background here so we can see what's going on. And now this section is exactly the browser height. Okay, that is an overview of the size and spacing subsection of the advanced tab in Oxygen. Thank you very much for watching.